Alright guys, welcome to the next guitar lesson. I uh, hope you've been learning all the previous songs that we've been doing and I hope you've been able to play all the songs so far. Okay, today we're going to start with a new song and this is uh, Green Day's Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Okay, I think some of you might have heard the song before. It's a very famous song by Green Day and we're going to use the power chords and the octaves that we've been practicing for the past uh, four weeks and we're going to continue on that. All right? Uh, before we start, I'm just going to play through the verse and the chorus part of the song. Okay, the verse part of the song, we're going to use just basic chords, chords that we all know. Um, e, G, D, and A. Okay, and for the chorus, we're going to use power chords. Right? And you're going to just see what are the power chords as I play in the song. So let's listen. I'm gonna start again. So up till there, and we're just going to focus on that part of the song for today. Okay, and we're going to use octaves. I mean, we're going to use uh, power chords and basic chords. So just uh, very simple for today's lesson. Okay, we're just going to play through the start to the finish, and I'm just going to go through the chords, right? So just play along. Let's start off with the first bar. So the first bar, we're going to start with a E minor chord. So remember, if you can't read the tabs, okay, make sure you can read. Uh, by the end of the lesson okay so this is the most basic thing that we have to be able to do so let's look at the numbers we have zero on the last string over there that means it's zero on the sixth string followed by two and two on the strings number five and four so two and two and zero zero so that's an e okay so that's an e minor chord okay and then e minor let it sustain for one bar and then we're going to mute it mute it and I'm going to go to the start of the verse over here. So let's look at the first two chords. So this is exactly the same chord as the first one. E minor, E minor. And then next, what is this chord? So try to read it. Three on the top. Two at the bottom. And then we have zero, zero, zero. And a three. So that is indeed a G chord. A G chord like this. Okay. And we're going to move on to the next one. Uh, it's a zero on the... Fourth string, and then two, three, and two. So that is a D chord, all right? By now you should be able to read this fast, all right? And the last one, fifth string zero, followed by two, two, two. So string number four, three, two is all two, and a zero. So that's an A chord. Okay, so we have a E minor, G, D, and an E. Okay, so these four chords make up the verse of the song. Okay, basically we're going to repeat this for one bar, one time, two times, three times, four times, five times, six times, and on the seventh time, okay, there's a change over here, right? So look at bar number 18. So bar number 18, we're going to start with two strums of uh, the chord over there, zero, two, three, two, so that's a D chord. And then we're going to start going into our power chords. And then let me just turn on the power chord. Um, okay, the fret diagram here. Okay, so let's look at the names of those power chords. What are the names of those power chords? We have a 5, 7, 7. So fret number 5 on the 6th string. Okay, what is that note? Okay, you can look at your reference. You should know by now that it's an A note. So that's an A power chord. 
So that should be a 7 fret, that's a B note, so that's a B power chord. Okay, and so the strong pattern will go something like this. Okay, and this will probably be the hard part of the song switching from the two D chords over there into the power chord. Um, but first, let's just try to play from to start all the way to that point over there. I'm just going to slow down the track a little bit. Uh, so let's slow it down by half to 41. Okay, so we're going to start with the E chord. I'm just going to strum once and let it ring. Okay, so try to remember the names of the chord. So it's E, G, D, and A. I'm going to keep on repeating. that's the part over there let's practice bar number 17 to 18 a little bit because uh, the verse i think is fine except for this part over here so we got an e and we have a g chord and then we're going to go to a d d and then we're going to jump to the power chord so let's just try from bar number 17 i'm going to start it at bar number 16 but get ready for bar number 17 so get ready your e minor we're coming for you want to jump we're going to move the whole hand together slide along the strings a power chord to b power chord okay so a very simple part if you've been practicing your power chords by now this should be very easy but if not, if it's not easy never mind okay just slow it down and practice along with the track uh, let's move on to the chorus we're going to use more of these power chords but before that let's try to name the power chords first. so we got a three five and five uh, 3 on the 5th string okay, so always remember the note on the lowest string gives you the name of the power chord so 3, 5, 5 and this note over here if you look at the reference that is a C note so this is a C5 chord a C power chord and then we're going to move up 3, 5, 5 but up like this so from down here we're going to move up here and what is the name of this note? this is the G note so it is a G power chord and then we go to a 5, 7, 7 on the 5th string. So what is the note on the 5th string? That is a D note. Okay, look at the reference there, D note, so this is D5. So we're going to go to a C. Okay, and the strong pattern is down, down. normal E chord. Okay. 
So from C, G, D. Okay. And now let's move on to the next. So this uh, pattern repeats. So after that, we have the same thing again C5, and then we move to a G5, and then we move to a D5, move to an E. So that's the second round. Second round, and then we go again C5, G5. D5, D5 is the third round, and then the fourth round we're going to go something different. We're going to go to a C5, G5, and then we're going to go to this chord here, 244. So 244 again is a power chord, and what is the name of that power chord? That is a, look at your reference, string number 5, second fret, that's a B note. It's a B5, okay, and we'll, so you can notice that uh, earlier on in the um verse again bar number 18 we also use the b but that b is on 799 okay so you can see that 799 and 244 at the bottom string okay they sound the same okay they are the same notes they are both b5 chords but what is the difference between this b5 and the bottom b5 the difference the top b5 and the lower b5 all right the difference is the top b5 sounds thicker i don't know if you can tell okay, use your headphones if you can't okay, you should be able to hear that it sounds a little bit thicker compared to the bottom the sounds more brighter okay and the reason for that is because the top strings are thicker than the bottom strings so if the the thinner the strings are the sharper the chord will sound okay that's just something um you should be aware of because there are a lot of chords on the guitar that have the same names okay but they're all around the frets okay and what makes them different is how uh thick or thin they sound all right so now let's move on uh, we'll try to play the chorus okay so we're going to start from the bar over here and then we're just going to play through the chorus so the chorus chords are again C5, G5, D5, E5, open E5 and then for that last one we go C5, G5 and then we go to a B5 and then we stop alright so let's try so we're going to start from the bar at the back and we're just going to get ready the C5 chord So up till there for the chorus, now let's try to see if we can play from the start of the song all the way to the end of the chorus over there. Okay, so let's try. Okay, now we're going to go to the... We're going to start on bar number 5, so just get to be the first chord.
So if you need uh, time to practice that again, just repeat the video, pause it and rewind it again. Okay, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to speed up the song a little bit faster now and we're going to try to play at a faster tempo. Okay, so full speed is at 82 BPM, but let's try to increase it to uh, 60 BPM first. Okay, so 60 BPM sounds like this. Okay, so we're going to start with the line ready. Okay, so always look at the score. didn't manage to do that all right you can pause the video and try again okay so repeat again but if you did okay now let's try it at full speed and hopefully by this week you should be uh, able to train yourself to reach 82 beats per minute all right you can just slow down the video accordingly if you need to um, but aim for full speed all right 82 beats per minute okay so like I said this song is uh, very simple in terms of the chords we're going to use okay we're just combining all the previous uh, stuff that we've learned in the past so if you've been practicing well for the past few lessons you should be able to do this with uh, not that much of a problem okay but let's try from e full speed now <laughs> So for this week, alright, very simple, just get the flow of a song, practice slowly and try to reach the full speed and um, for your assignment, record yourself playing this song and once you're done recording, you don't have to play it at full speed, you can play it at whichever tempo you're comfortable with, 
alright and just record yourself uh, if you can playing with the video that uh, you're watching now just, just scroll back to the speed that you're most confident with and then play along with that part and record yourself if not then um, yeah then you can play at your own tempo without the video but make sure you play the verse and then the chorus okay I want to see that and also um, yeah just work towards full speed and next week we'll continue and finish up the song with the octaves okay so keep practicing and yes have fun thank you